What's up guys, Spornite here, and welcome to another episode of Undertale. Let's get started. So, uh, I just beat Papyrus in the last episode, and so what I believe I need to do... I need to go this way, and then up. Oh, right, there's nothing there. Down and this way. Possibly here? It's locked. Okay, my next guess would be good to go this way. Oh, I didn't beat Papyrus. I lost him. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. I love this song. I wonder what I should wear. And it still remembers that from the last fight. That's <laughs> oh! Barely making it. Balancing act there. Do I just need to wait until all those quibs are done? I don't know. Oh, no! Oh. But this time, I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't even want to leave. <laughs> it's a note from Papyrus. Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried sick. Slightly bone trussled Papyrus. Boop. Yay, four minutes wasted. Woo! <laughs> Back again, eh? Oh, this is probably just a looping event. Okay. I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me. In the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, 
I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice! Probably like three in a row or something like that. Taste my future popularity. And from that direction. will be really proud of me. Oh. But it just won't work on me. I am the persistentist. I'm the persist pers Ah persistentist. And if you think you are a persistenter there there then that is wrong, grammatically wrong. Because the correct form would be not as persistentist as Papyrus the Persistentist test. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Yeah. It's a note from Papyrus. If you're just looking for a place to stay, just ask. You don't need to fight me. Your host, Papyrus. No, the mouse is on screen. Ah! Papyrus, I want a place to stay. Ah. You're back again? I finally realized the true reason why. Yes. Yes. You. Just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way. But mostly, I'm getting really tired of capturing you. Fight Papyrus? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll accept my failure. No. <laughs> Can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undine's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? <laughs> what a loser! Loser! Uh, let's be friends! I wanna be friends with Papyrus. <gasps> this song! Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee! We haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit that the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh! I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. 
the king of all monsters. He is, well, he's Big Fuzzy Pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Woo! Did he just jump over or... Yeah. I'm gonna go say hi to Papyrus. And then I'm gonna end this episode. Because I need to edit and upload because it's 5 o'clock right now. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> My house! How did I know that that was what's gonna happen? Undertale is such great music. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You moved it two inches, move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! I love it. <laughs> Didn't you say not to bring it back to my room? Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. Touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 200G. <gasps> it's a saggy old couch. Yeah. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Of course. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Probably good. <laughs> Welcome to the scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. That was tripping me up for some reason. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever. Oh, do whatever people do when they date. No. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. The door is locked. We could go in and, you know, do whatever people do when they date. Mm. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it just basically happened. Yep. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower account. Of course, fame has a steep price. Jealous Troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Sure, why not? The clothes are hung up neatly inside. Yay! That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Is it? Ah, oh, no! Ah. Uh, I skipped it. Uh. I'll go back and read that. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. I'm sorry, Papyrus! Okay. 
Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. So, um... If you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Sure. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We've, oh, we're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a dating sim inside Undertale. <laughs> Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Eh. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Okay. Look back in front. Okay. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. No. Yes. Really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. Before we continue, I just want to point out, Friday with the sun, there's a little dog scanner on in the top right, reel it in, <laughs> a little meter for that, population, no clue what that's supposed to be for, crime, what, and then just in the bottom left, egg. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Oh, I thought it was going to be bad. <laughs> yes! No! You planned it all along! You're way better at dating than I am! No, your dating power! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Don't think you've vested me yet, Henshin. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! I love it. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compl compliment. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Cool dude. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. What is that? I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Ah, spaghetti. Do you know what this is? Of course! Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh so wrong! This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. 
Silky and Spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cat. Then cooked by me, Master Chef, I was a human. It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Or... No! Over 9,000? No, I'm sorry. I had to. Human! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake! Human, I want you to be happy too! It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you I, Papyrus, I, um, boy. Is it out in here, or is it just me? <laughs> oh, uh, shoot, human, I... I, I'm sorry. I, I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because, I don't even have lips. Ha! And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Nyahahaha. <laughs> oh, and if you never, ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Nyahaha. <laughs> Papyrus Senpai noticed me. Okay. The door is locked. Okay. Well, anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!